MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin with a victorious Evan Dunham at UFC on Fox 2. And Evan, let me start with this, because going into the fight, I guess the reputation of Nick Lentz is kind of a, you know, boring fighter, likes to grind guys out, but he came out really aggressive in that first round. Did that surprise you at all? No, it didn't. Um, you know, I think he, he knew he, he needed to put a good performance on tonight, and uh, so he came out swinging, and uh, it didn't surprise me too much. You know, I was saying before the fight that uh, I wasn't going to allow him to have a boring fight because I'm, I'm, I don't believe I put on boring fights. So um, it didn't surprise me one bit that he came off to fight. When you have that reputation, you know, kind of coming into it, you, I guess you, you were forced to mix it up a little bit, and this fight did end up going a little bit everywhere. On the feet, you know, he did take you down. I mean, it was a little bit of a scramble here and there. Did you kind of anticipate that? And it seemed like as the fight wore on, it kind of played into your favor that way. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel comfortable everywhere, to tell you the truth. Um, I feel I'm an all-around guy. Um, I felt like I may have given up those takedowns too easy in the first. Um, but, you know, I, I, as, as the fight went on, I realized I was the better fighter all around. And once I kind of was able to settle down and start sticking my jab out there, that I was able to get things going. He landed some pretty nasty shots. We saw his face, of course, the cut that ended the fight. Um, how much does that, I mean, when you're going after a guy like that, you know, and you see his face kind of, as the fight progressively moves on and on, it's getting worse and worse. Are you aiming or are you just, I mean, because it looks like, you know, obviously as the fight wears on, he got worse and worse, and, and it seemed like you were definitely pinpointing your shots. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I didn't really know who was cut or well, you know, or to what extent. I just knew there was blood on both of us, and I really didn't care who was bleeding. I was hoping it was him, but uh, I was just going to keep fighting and, until the fight was over, you know, because I felt the momentum changing. Yeah, I know. I remember talking to you after the fight with Sean Shirk, and you mentioned, you know, just having the fight taken away from you that way. You know, it was uh, such a controversial decision to win with the, the way it was. I mean, you were. I think most people would say you were winning the fight anyways. Satisfying still to win the, the fight with the, the TKO by the cut, or, or were you happy with the way? I wanted the fight to keep going. I, I was more than confident I was going to put him away in that third. I was going to you know, put him on his back, beat him up, beat him up on the feet. I was more than comfortable I was going to be able to finish him in that third. So I would have liked for the fight to go on, but it was stopped. You know, um, I have no control over that, so the only thing I can do is be happy. So that's what I am. Um, after the, the Melvin Gillard fight, I know things didn't go your way. You bounced back from that. Now you know, you've had a couple good wins in a row now. Um, you're still young, you know, you're still learning. Where do you feel like you fit in right now in the lightweight division? This is your third win in a row, if I'm correct. So where do you feel like you fit in right now after, you know, a couple tough fights, the Shirk fight and then the Gallard fight? Uh, I feel I'm right up there, you know. I, I really feel I've only, you know, I've had eight fights in the UFC and I feel I've lost one of them. So I, I think that puts me right up there vying for that top contender spot. You know, I realize that I'm going to have to get another win or two versus tough guys uh, to get that title shot, but that's what I want and that's where I feel I am. And last question. It seems like there is a certain level of turnover right now in that lightweight division. You know, Gray Maynard had a couple fights with Frankie Yeager. Uh, you know, Donald Cerny's coming off a loss. Jim Miller's, you know, it, a lot of guys have fought each other, I guess is what I'm getting at. Yep. Do you feel like this is kind of prime position for you to jump in there and kind of re-inject some new blood at that in that contenders race? Kind of like what Ben Henderson did. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, there's a lot of very talented guys at 155 that are all vying for that spot. Um, so it's just going to be, we got to weed them out again, you know, and I'm more than happy to, to be one of those guys that steps in there and, you know, kick some of them to the curb. So that's what I want to do. Excellent. Well, congratulations again on the win, Evan. Thank you very much.